Hi guys, it's Jamie here and in today's Stash Builder Challenge we're going to be using old book pages and music score but you're looking for ones that quite a big size like A4 or US letter size and also because I have a lot of these from all the kit making stuff I do for Junk Journal Cafe leftover printables now the reason i have so many leftovers is because i print everything up so i can do a walkthrough video then i make a journal and sometimes i just make a small folio which means i have folders and folders of leftover printables however in case you don't have leftover printables i've also provided you with some of the marble paper backgrounds you'll find the link for downloading those from dropbox in the video description. Also in the video description is my Kofi tip jar. If any of you can afford to give one dollar to that tip jar that would really really help me out but if you can't I totally understand and simply liking and commenting on this video is also highly appreciated. Here's what we're making today and because this is a very simple folding process to make four pockets you will want papers that are printed on both sides. I'm so sorry, but when I film these videos, I can't see through the viewfinder what you're actually seeing. And because my previous setup above my desk was further back, I was always in shot. Sometimes nowadays I'm out of shot. So you will see me move this paper in a minute. All I'm doing here is taking the bottom right hand corner of the paper up and forming a diagonal line with the edge of the left hand so that there is that margin of paper as you can see on the left hand side there and when I'm fairly happy with that straightness or placement I'm folding it down. When making these on camera I did use my cutting board as a guide for my lines but actually when I came to make them off camera, I found it just as easy to do it by eye. Here in the video, you can see that I've moved my cutting board up a little because it's occurred to me that maybe you can't see the bottom of the paper. Now in the process, we turn the paper over and make sure that the two mountains, which is why I've called this the range four tier pockets, are upwards. From the right hand side, we bring that paper in and line it up along the bottom and fold it down firmly. Then we bring the left hand side over enough that it could tuck inside that bottom right, which you will see in a minute, making sure it lines up nicely at the bottom of the pockets and again, fold everything down. Here at the bottom, we take the left hand side and tuck it into the triangle that's been made on the right hand side, which neatens everything off and holds it together. Before I sew or glue any of this, I'm going to just gently edge each pocket with black ink because this will be for a gothic or grungy journal. Because I love my inking, I also ink all the way round the outside of the pocket. However, you will see in some designs later that you don't need to ink to make those pockets stand out to the eye. At this stage of my prototype, I chose to sew down the right hand side along the bottom and up the left hand side, leaving the top clear of stitch work. You could also just glue along the bottom edge if you do not have a sewing machine available. We're going to quickly repeat that process using one of the marble papers that you can get from the link in the video description, which has been printed onto one side of this paper. I'm doing this a second time so you can watch the fold process again. If you've never made this particular style of pocket before, once you've done this a couple of times, you will be knocking them out so quickly. What I do love about these pockets is A, it's easy to remember the folding system. You don't have to look for perfection in the neatness or evenness of the peaks. That actually gives it some quirkiness. And it is all just folding and tucking until you get to the sewing aspect. 
Because this is one of our stash builder videos, I do like to show you different styles of paper, giving everyone an opportunity to take part. Therefore, this time I've used some music score to make a range pocket. This time I ink the edges of the pocket and around the pocket in the Distress Ink Vintage Photo. I thought some of you might be interested in how I quickly transform music score or book page into something prettier for generic journals. And that is to remove the ply from a decorative napkin. This napkin has three ply. I keep the white backing ply as texture for canvases and art journals. Meanwhile, you can now see that our decorative one is a lot more translucent. I'm covering my music score with matte medium. You can use Mod Podge or any glue. I'm adding the napkin and then pressing that down. It will get a few creases. If you want a glueless crease free method, there is one which involves using Sarian wrap or cling film. I do have a tutorial for that. If I can find the link, I will put that in the description below. To finish this napkin music score, I'm adding a layer of the gel matte medium to the top very gently because now that tissue is wet, it can tear very easily. Once everything is dry, I will then treat this music score like all the other papers to make a range pocket. I thought I'd decorate one or two of these pockets on camera so you can see the process and then go through all the final designs in close-up for you. To my left, I have a Tupperware box filled with fussy cuts and bits of printables. Some of them have been free, some are from our shop, and I'm simply going to add them for decorative focus. I'm using a print stick, you can use any glue. With this particular design example, I'm using some torn washi that I've run over the print stick to make it a bit more tacky to highlight those pockets. My next example is going to be a grungy gothic one. So I'm piling through my fussy cuts to find gothic-y looking ones to decorate the pockets with and edging my chosen pieces with the black ink, which will make everything seem like it's from or part of the same kit. Then I have a little play with the space available to see the sort of layout that might work on the pockets. I really never spend much time with collage ideas. I tend to work in odd numbers and creating different levels with the elements of the collage. By working in odd numbers, in this case three, having the pieces I've chosen inked in black and with similar feel or theme, you really don't have to put that much thought into the placement or the pieces that you're going to use, making it a very quick way to decorate these pockets. Did anyone notice my deliberate voiceover mistake? I said a collage of three. This one is actually five. It is still an odd number with four pieces on the left hand side and the fifth on the right. The next pocket is one just from an old book page and I'm using one of the free printable fussy cuts. If you are in our Junk Journal Cafe Facebook group, you will find the free printables in a group album. This design I kept quite simple but in a second we will go through all the designs. You'll see from the amount of designs here that I got quite carried away using various leftover printables. I did a lot of gothic, but it is my favourite theme. I also did quite a few book page ones and music score ones for my more generic journals. I do love those pretty vintage, they look really cool. I did a few with the marble background papers so you could see those results too. I hope you enjoyed this video and that style of pocket and I will see you very, very soon. Bye!